Hey everyone, it's Homebrew Help. I'm here to teach you today how to inject ROMs into your WAD files for your Nintendo Wii. So first you're going to want to start off with a base WAD. And since f I'm going to be doing Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 in this example, uh, I'm going to use Mortal Kombat 3 as the base WAD. But around the Homebrew community it said that Donkey Kong Country 2 is the uh, best uh, wad to start off as a base wad. So just uh, Google Donkey Kong Country 3, or if you think you've got a better, more compatible wad, go with that. It, it doesn't have to be a SNES wad, it can be a wad for any of the virtual console, console systems. And get your ROM for the same system. I'll provide a link for the program you're going to need in the sidebar. It's called Auto Wad Injector. Oh, I've won. Like I have the past ten times. Auto Inject Wad Injector V3. And in order for it to work, you're going to need something called com Key Common Dot Bin. And it's illegal for me to distribute that to you, so I'm going to have to ask you guys to Google that. I'm sorry. So, um, you're going to have to, uh, I'm sure it's on RapidShare, that's where I got it from. So, go and get your common key dot bin, and your ROM and your WAD. And, place your common dash key dot bin right here in the base folder of your auto inject your WAD. Alright guys, I'm going to wait for this to uh, finish, and I'm going to start back up when it does. Alright, so I've finished downloading the Mortal Kombat 3 base wad and the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 SMC file. And what we're going to want to do now is open up Auto Injector, and we're going to take the Mortal Kombat 3 base wad and put it in there. Replace it since I've already got a copy of it. And we're going to take the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and we're going to put it in there also. You get Auto Wad Injector. Press Refresh. Oh, I did not show that. Oh, because, uh, go to Console Mode and then SNES. There you go. And choose your ROM, which is for me Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And your Base Wad, which is Mortal Kombat 3. And you are going to go... Whoa. That was weird. And the title, which will be for me, I'm just going to put Ultimate MK3 and click Start. And this command box should show up and it will write everything, do everything for you. Try not to move the mouse and that should be it. Now X out. And it should save your finished wad in the auto injector base folder. It'll save virtual console VC and then the ROM you injected, Ultimate MK3, in, and then your base wad. So you're going to take it and you're going to take your SD or USB or whatever it is you use to load uh, files onto your Wii. And you're going to put it in the wad folder. So go to your removable disk up the wad folder and you're going to take your SD card and you're going to put it in your way all right and now that you've put your SD card into your Wii you're going to go to the homebrew channel Unless you have a uh, WAD installer channel set up like I do. And you're going to go to WAD Manager. For me, it's the one, second one. And load. I have a bunch. I have no idea why. And A. A. Go down to the WAD folder. And you should see right there VC Ultimate MK3 Immortal Combat 3.wad. And press A and install one. It should be installing. Now 
Now remember, the uh, WAD, when it installs, it will look just like the classic MK3 folder. If you want to change it so it looks like MK3, you will have to have Customize Me, a uh, application that's similar to Water. It lets you just change the banner and the music and anything along those lines and make a almost a custom channel. That's essentially what it is. Okay, go home. And go to system menu. Go one over. And there it is, right there. Ultimate MK3. Press it. And it'll look like the classic Mortal Kombat. And start it. You're going to need the classic controller, I forgot. And there it is, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And start it up. And the character select screen will have all the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 characters. It's essentially Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 under the appearance of Mortal Kombat 3. Runs exactly the same as Mortal Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. All you're doing is just making it look like Mortal Kombat 3. You're hiding it inside. So, this has been Homebrew Help. Thanks for watching, guys. This is how to inject ROMs into your wads.